Welcome back to Mass Effect. I didn't find any more keepers, but I did find a person who asked if I had a moment, Spectre. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for What do you got? How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What's your interest? And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. I could charge you. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. And is this a setup? I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human Spectre, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Alright. And what about the crimes that we know of? What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. Yucky. They're loathsome. Hurting innocent people. They must be ended. And what defenses? Kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Fine, I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Okay, bye. I got Renegade points just for that. I guess that's fair. Okay. Journal, where did you say Udina was? Because I don't remember. Oh, at the docking bay. Well, I didn't go there, did I? In fact, I specifically avoided going there because I said I did I don't need to go there. Or something along those lines. As you may recall. Turns out I needed to go there. So now we're going there. And yeah, I could take the CRTs, but... Walking my little legs is better. It's good exercise or something. Very important that uh, this fictional character gets a good amount of exercise every day. Look, I didn't say it made sense. I just said what I said for some reason. Alright, go around this way. Down the bend. Take the elevator, cross the plaza, get in the other elevator, go up, get out. Open. Coming go. up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. I helped. Good job, Emily. How come Tally's armor gets to have a better color scheme than mine? I mean, Garrus is too, but I like Tally's better. Mine just looks like I am camouflaged for sand, I guess. But, as we all know, sand doesn't belong in the galaxy because it's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere, or whatever, whatever that Skywalker kid said. Star Wars jokes.
The elevator spins. Oh, here we are. Now that I'm actually kind of dizzy in real life. Time to get another elevator. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Ow, I actually did kind of make myself dizzy, it turns out. Uh, so we're not doing that again. Elevator spins are a bad idea. Don't do them. Like, I know that it's possible to get motion sick from a video game, and I mean, it's not nearly that bad, but I didn't expect it to be... I didn't expect I would get motion sick from a video game. You know... I don't know. I have a lot of guns. We all have a lot of guns. But I feel like I especially have a lot of guns. It might just be that mine stand out more against my armor, though. Because I have three red and a blue-gray, and my armor is black and tan. Wait, 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 aha, we're still missing one, but keeper, be bird. All right, now we can talk to Udina and uh, Anderson. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Wait, what? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. What's going on? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Oh, rad. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Hey! I'll Sounds start like there. Sounds we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful or whatever. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yeah? What you got, Anderson? Yes, Commander? Are you cool? 
How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. So why hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. So what happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. So something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Yucky. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. So what got you blamed? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. So it sounds like it wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. That's not fair, though. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I guess. I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. But it wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. What do you know about the three places I'm supposed to go? What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? It's got my name in Not it. Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What about Pharos? Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. And Novaria? What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Okay, bye. Go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. So we should get on our ship. But for now, we're going to say bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. I love you.